<clears throat> yes, this is CBL channel, you know, addressing the prison system. I get to understand that the prison system is not allowing the inmate them to have no tobacco or no cigarettes. Yeah, allowing them to have this thing where them call them vape. Well, to me, back in the days, the reason why they give them the cigarette is to cope them, make them cope from committing suicide. God, that do really relax them head. And by taking away that privilege from them to smoke tobacco and cigarette and to use vape, all they are doing is bringing up this crackhead in the prison system. Because without the tobacco, you can't roll your spliff. But you can't smoke the crack on a piece of file. And you can't smoke the heroin on a piece of file. So they are not only doing the inmate them a favor more than turning the, all of them into a bunch of junkies. That's why when they come back into society, you find a lot of them is on drugs. Thanks to the prison system. Because when they're saying they're trying to get rid of the ganja and trying to get rid of the tobacco and the cigarette and bring in the vape, they let the prison vulnerable to bring in crack cocaine and heroin. And the one them what cannot cope well, like them like a ganja, they got to take shortcut and start to take heroin and crack. And by the time they come back out from prison, all of them is a junkie. Why you think when a lot of junkies go into prison nowadays, when them go in, them don't rehabilitate? Because there's be a crack in there and heroin. So when them come out back, them fully loaded. Them just want more drugs. Because they did not get time to relax or to wean off it. Because it is in the prison system. And the prison system introducing it by taking away the ganja and the cigarette and the tobacco. Because you cannot roll ganja with vape. That's ridiculous. But you can smoke crack cocaine on a pedophile. And you can smoke heroin on a pedophile. Because they do sell Kit Kat. And they do got a kitchen. So I'm asking whosoever that run this prison system, think again. If they are there to rehabilitate. Or is there to facilitate a bag of junkie to put them back out into society and when they cannot cope with them on the road they said oh they are drugs addict but yet still when they reach in the prison there are no one there to help them so they have to help themselves because if you got to take away the cigarette from the man who don't smoke crack, you're forcing him to smoke crack. If you gotta take a weed, a weed from the man who don't smoke crack, when him can't get the crack, what him gonna do? You gotta take a shot, cut and say, well, then, all right, put the crack on the piece of file and smoke it. Him better eye. So by the time he's sentence done, him turn a full blown crackhead. And him come out. The system didn't do anything for him. The system will make it worse. So I'm asking you again, who's ever running the prison system, to think, think carefully before you make you know, funny thing I'm talking about when you're trying to stop smoke. You can't stop no one from smoke. Because when you think, say, you're telling a man said, he must stop smoke the cigarette and smoke the vape. In my eye, you're giving the man an next addiction. 
where you have to find the money to buy the vape. The government is not giving the vape free. So you give them the next, uh, the next addiction that later on, when him can't find the money to buy, what he got to do? Walk and suck the empty vape off the street side, and then we have the next problem again. Just like all these young teenagers out there, they are taking the gases. They are doing the balloons. Laughing gas. In Brixton, uh oh, police glad to lock up for a spliff. But when they see the man them smoking the crack on the corner, they just walk past them like it's just a holiday thing. Yeah, it's not nice. But they want to lock up for one like a gun just spliff. And then man them out there smoking big <coughs> A-class crack in public and they just walk past them. So society is not doing anything to help at the moment more than trying to say they are imprisoning people wishing when you put them in the prison you turn them into a bunch of junkies. Yeah, because they don't have no cigarette, they don't have no tobacco, they don't have no ganja. All they get is crack, cocaine, and file. And with that, they get wild. So I'm asking you to think again. Bringing back the tobacco in the prison and the cigarette. I know the ganja is wrong, but when the man have the pressure in a prison, you smoke the ganja. You give them a meditation. Yeah, you know, make them think about the girl too much. Because if the man them think about the girl, they will get angry in the the people. But when they were spliff, they had calm. These are the things what you must think about. To rehabilitate. Yeah. Because if you want to rehabilitate, you have to do better. Get out the crack and get out the heroin. And bring in the ganja back in the system. Bring in the tobacco back in the system. And bring in back the cigarette back in the system. And when the people them come up from prison, you get a better prisoner. But at the moment, it's be a junkie coming out of prison. Sad. Be a junkie. Sad. Not nice. Peer junkies. They must check themselves. Well, I'm a serial channel listener.